Good morning. How are you? We're really well, thank you. And what's, what's funny is watching you both watch that back, you're like... Ah. <laughs> I know, it's nail-biting at some moments. What yeah. I have to say, we've got Ellie Belly with us, which is very, very important. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ellie Belly has show. to be here. Um, how do you feel? Because your summer must have just gone so, so quickly. How does it feel to be runners-up? It feels incredible. We're both just so happy right now. We just keep saying like we wouldn't change a thing. Like everything has just been such it's just been such an incredible journey. Yeah. It's been amazing. Just looking at them memories, you know, on, on screen. It seems like a lifetime I ago. Bet it does. It's yeah. just crazy to relive all that. Yeah. So much has happened in your life since those oh, recoupling moments. Or... Yeah. Mm. It's crazy coming out as well. There's a lot of opportunities. It's just it's kind of a will when you don't really adjust to it. You've just got to take every day as it yeah. comes. It's all yeah. kind of happening around you, I'm sure. Literally, yeah. When you first went into the villa, did you expect to find love? I mean, I, I always say, everybody in that villa, I'm pretty sure I was the person least expecting to find love. And I think uh -huh. because of that, I found it. I always think you find things that you're not looking for and when you t stop searching for something, it normally comes happens. your way. Yeah. And I think yeah. I went in just, like, hoping I'd find something, but not sure if I would. And because of that, I think I bumped into this one, that's why. And, and why, why do you think you, you were probably the one, the one that was more like that? Um, just because I'm, I'm quite picky and, like, I, I don't know, it just takes me a lot to... done something right. Yeah. Yes, it <laughs> I think, like, it takes me a lot to fall for someone, so I, I, was, I wasn't sure if it would happen. I suppose you had your guard up a little bit 100%. as well. yeah, you always not do, forget, yeah. You know, you're, you're doing that in front of the nation. Mm. Yeah. Is that something that you're aware of when you're in the villa? I think in, inside the villa it's a very different atmosphere, you know, you can only know how it feels if once you, once you, you live it. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think in, in that sort of environment, you've got to keep yourself open and keep, you know, your book open because in there, that's that's all you're looking for. So yeah. you've yeah. got to, you know, put your cards on the table and if somebody likes you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. Like, it's as simple as that. That's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone does just put their cards on the table. It's they kind really of almost do. just not real life in that no, yeah. sense, is it? No, it's so funny. So obviously you've had all this time in the villa and now being out, you've just got things that you've never done before, like texting each other. Yeah. How does that feel the first time <laughs> you send each other a text? It felt crazy because... To someone that's already your boyfriend. I know, yeah. yeah. We was in the villa and asked her to be my girlfriend. Then when we got on the outside, I said, oh, can I grab your number? That's so funny. And she's already my girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> it was funny. It's bizarre. It was funny, yeah. And I suppose the first time, sort of, you, I know that you met each other's parents but seeing each other's homes and mm. knowing where that person lives. Yeah. I suppose it's kind of nice because you do the full-on thing where you know you're already committed, yeah. but then you get to learn a little bit more about each Absolutely, other on the yeah. outside, right? It just brings you one step closer every time. And what, what is the... Um, obviously, because you enter this show, it's such a big show, mm. and you're almost kept away from the reality of it mm. until you come out. Mm. Yeah. What has it been like sort of dealing with the public opinion and everyone's got an opinion on your relationship? Absolutely. Yeah. I think... Because we are in such a bubble right now and we are so happy and we're just so great together, we don't... I've not been paying much attention to it. You just have to yeah. focus on this and each other and yourself. I think, you know, prioritise the things that are important and the public's perception, you know, everyone's going to have an opinion. And yeah. I think we know that that's fine and we knew that going into the show that when we come out, you know, some people's opinions might be positive. They might... Yeah. It just depends. But, yeah, it's, we're not really... It's fine. I like, think that's sometimes happy. the hard thing that can come with social media, isn't it? Definitely. When, you know, it, Absolutely. it's not... It's not always positive, yeah. unfortunately. When you're in the public eye, you know, everybody, like Molly says, is going to have an opinion mm -hmm. on things. Yeah. The only opinions that matter is who's in the relationship yeah. and your families. And that's yeah. it, really, you know. Exactly. As long as you feel good and you know what's going on, that's all that matters. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's... How did it feel going in? Obviously, people didn't know who you were as much as they do now. Mm -hmm. When you're walking down the street and everyone, they must be recognising you. Yeah, it's crazy, you know. So you have people coming up to saying, oh, I know everything about you. I know, I know your whole life story. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... I'm sorry, okay. mate, who are you again? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's great at the end of the day. The public showing us really good support and we're yeah. very grateful. Everyone's been so lovely when they come up to you. They, don't want, they want a proper chat. They don't just want a picture. They want to actually talk to you. Yeah. yeah. I suppose right. it's adjusting, isn't it, to think, why is she looking at me? And it's because you've yeah. just been on the biggest show on telly, yeah, you know? Right. Yeah, Have you watched any... Obviously, we just showed you a little clips then. Have you watched any of it back? Well, we had a Chinese yeah. at mine the other night and we had a little <laughs> chill night and watched some of the episodes back and it was quite... It was weird. You have, like, an out-of-body experience, like, watching yourself. It's like, this is so strange. But we have watched a little bit back, yeah. yeah. No, it's nice to relive the memories. Yeah. Obviously, you, as we said before when we were introducing you, that you were the bookie's favourite to win. Mm. Were you shocked that you didn't? Because no-one looked more shocked than Maura. <laughs> <laughs> she was so... I mean, look, you can see her face here. We've got a little clip. She is just like, what on <laughs> earth? Just... <laughs> <laughs> it almost, that almost took over her emotion, her doesn't it? says it all, doesn't it? I think, um, yeah, Maura was probably shocked, but we weren't. I think when you're in there, you have no idea what the public think. Yeah, and, like, yeah. I think everyone said, oh, you must have been surprised. We really weren't, because you don't know what everyone's saying, you don't know what everyone's opinions are. Mm. Um, and you're not in there for that, honestly. I think people need yeah. to realise that you don't... That's not even in your mind. When you're in that villa, you're not thinking about the final, you're not thinking about winning. It's not even 
in your head. You're just thinking yeah. about the moment, like, in the moment, making friends, making memories. And it sounds cringy, but it really yeah. is. And you yeah. just don't think about it. And I suppose the fact that you've been in there so long, yeah. you've enjoyed yeah. it, you've yeah. made the final, you've won already because you're in Well, it. that's what we always say. Yeah, we always say that we've won in our own way. Because yeah. we found each other. And that's the aim of that. That's the aim of the game. We found love and we, like, yeah. So I'd be the only thing about winning. Yeah, exactly. As soon as I met Molly, I thought, oh, well, I don't care for a girl tomorrow because I've met the girl exactly. in the games anyway. Oh, yes. That is so lovely. So, yeah. Honestly, it wasn't really about winning. We're winning in our own right. Amber did deserve to win. She had, she had a really tough time in there. Greg came in, swooped off her feet. They looked really good together, and I wish mm -hmm. them all the absolute best. Yeah. That's so, so nice. nice. <laughs> I love that. I know. It might not stay nice, though, because we're about to put your relationship to the ultimate test with our very serious game of... Fire <laughs> Fury! Uh. There you go. <laughs> Right, these are yours. Now, yes. guys, the rules are simple, OK? We are okay. going to give you some scenarios, and all you've got to do is hold up the paddle to show whether your partner would be fine or furious. Do you right. see what we've done there? Yeah. 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 Do you like it? Fine yeah. or furious. <laughs> Clever play on words. I know, We're good exactly, at that. I know. We're very good at that. OK, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Here goes. Tommy said he didn't like your top knot. Would it be fine or furious? Yes. Fine. <laughs> okay. People say that anyway, he literally compliments me all the time anyway, so yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Molly May told you she thought that boxing was boring. How are you feeling about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would never dare say that. Raging. Raging. Yes, absolutely <laughs> raging. Tommy said he wanted to make your bedroom boxing themed. Surely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be happy with that. Mm. <laughs> right, Molly May said she preferred Ellie Belly to you. Oh, no, not happening, <laughs> not happening, that's a serious talk. Right, yeah. Molly May got fake tan all over the bathroom. Oh, it can be cleaned up. Yeah, it can be cleaned. <laughs> oh. uh, listen, there's no breaking you, there's no breaking you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No, thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you very much us. and good, good luck, luck with everything. It.